there are things that rank in the top ten. Our economy is one of them. And the president is just going around speaking constantly about taxing the rich. You know, just pay a little more. Just pay a little more. Is there any rate where we shouldn't pay a little more? Where we shouldn't have others pay a little more? I saw the Washington Post poll today that uh, almost two-thirds of Americans are for taxing the rich and not for having any compromise on Medicaid and Medicare. No, No form of even just privatizing in the sense that we will have to take care of ourselves. We will be enabled by tax system, the tax system to take care of ourselves. But no. See, what happens is, and this is why I don't have, I have optimism because of the last election, but I don't have optimism over the long run because of what, in fact, the entitlement world does to people's character. You have to be a really remarkable person to say, I don't want others paying for my life. You have to have real character, and the entitlement culture destroys character. Socialism makes people worse. I don't know, I have to go to communism. Just social democracies make people worse. Look at, when, when do French people uh, m- uh, massively protest? When? Do they massively protest massacres on the face of the earth? No, it's a non-issue to them. They only massively um, uh, massively demonstrate when there is any compromise on how much money they'll get and how much time off they'll have and when and what age they retire. Capitalism doesn't make you selfish. Socialism makes you selfish. This is the great, great lie, one of the great lies, of the world of the left. You, and, and it's definitional. Why would capitalism make you more selfish? You want to earn more money? Why does that make you selfish? You want to get more money without working? That makes you selfish. You see how distorted the world is? Capitalism makes you work harder. Socialism makes you want harder. Now you tell me, which is the selfish way of looking at life? I don't want to work any harder, but I want more benefits. Why is that not the epitome, the apotheosis? I love that word. I love that word. And here I'm going to really show off. You know where I learned that word? Wagner called Beethoven's seventh last movement the apotheosis of dance. (laughs) That's the apotheosis of dance. That's the apotheosis. Of selfishness. I don't want, I will watch just as much TV as I do now and always have, but I want more benefits while I watch TV. I'm sorry, folks. I know it sounds callous, but that is the truth because the average person making 20,000 watches three times more TV than the average person making 60,000. Are there people who are just in terrible straits and need to be helped? Of course, no one, no one denies it. But please, it is the socialist system, the social welfare system that produces the utterly, utterly narcissistic individual. What more can you give me? That's not a capitalist question. How much more can I earn is the capitalist question. Earn versus receive? Would you say that there is a moral difference? You think there is a character difference? I do. If you in any way differ with what I just said, or it is not entirely clear, please call me. Or if you want to offer your own substantiation of what you just heard. 18 Prager 776 877 243 776. 18 Prager 776. I have to write on this. This I just I just realized. How much propaganda, because the left dominates the educational system. The, 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 uh, in the best day, on the best days, it's nonsense. On the worst days, it's a lie. Capitalism is not selfish. Socialism is selfish. To get what you didn't earn and then demand it? Wow. That's, that, that's really something, isn't it? Giving people things that they did not earn is the easiest way to undermine their character. The easiest. The left makes worse people, and it doesn't have a method of making good people. I'll talk about that when we come back on The Dennis Prager Show. All the world owes us a living. 